Hello, I'm Paul Donovan. And even while on gardening leave, I'm aware that the issue of helicopter money has started to creep into the media again. So what is helicopter money and why does it matter? The phrase was invented by Milton Friedman, who suggested that governments could increase inflation by simply dropping money onto the heads of their population. The Japanese tried something along these lines in 1999 with consumption vouchers. It didn't work terribly well. The problem is not the printing of money. Central banks print money all the time. That's what central banks are created to do. But central banks print money to create balance. If you start with an economy that is balanced, but you then get an increase in money demand, then it's up to the central bank to select from a range of instruments to increase money supply to bring the economy back into balance. What helicopter money does is increase money supply in a permanent way. That's how it differs from quantitative policy. What does that mean? Well, it presents us with three challenges. The first is there is no flexibility. If money demand were to be reduced in the future, the central bank would find it very difficult to reverse helicopter money, by definition. The second issue is the risk of inflation or hyperinflation getting out of control. Every period of hyperinflation in human history, from medieval China through the Soviet Union, Weimar Germany, Eastern Europe, Zimbabwe, all were preceded by some version of helicopter money. And the third problem is something peculiar to the world that we have today. That is that raising inflation of prices may not be a very good thing. If we look at a country like Japan, Japan's consumers today already have the highest inflation expectations in the developed world. What they've also got, though, is an expectation that their income is going to fall. Raising inflation expectations further through helicopter money could prove to be very, very damaging in these circumstances. It's wage inflation, not price inflation, we need to try and achieve. So, whilst I believe helicopter money is a very nice, elegant little theory in the confines of an academic journal, in the real world, as we live today, I'm just not sure that it's going to work.